this is key and success. And so Mr. Big Up dancing to you. And they are really cool. Put, 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 put it down. Put it down, put it down. Tell them dancing clearer, put it down. Sweet. The dance from the corner and we put it on. Showing at the area and we put it on. Welcome, 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 YouTubers, to another Dancing Clear Quick Fire interview. Yeah? I'll be your host, Shawnee T. So just big up yourself, Dancing Clear, and big up yourself, I'm really coolie. Know who we have here? One of Lovers Rock's greatest. Yeah? 100%. Yeah? So let me introduce to you, Miss Audrey. Scott. Greetings, Shirley T. Greetings, it's a great pleasure to be here. And you, and you. Thank you. So, we got this quick fire interview. I'm just going to fire some quick questions at you. Alright. Okay. So, we're going to start like this. Okay. Now, what age did you get into the music, Audrey? Um, I did my first recording at 17 years old. Wow. wow. What song was that? That was a song called The Day Will Come. Alright. Done on the Never Clean record label. Alright. Okay, so can you um, describe what kind of music that you make? Um, I have been making Lovers Rock, mm -hmm. um, reggae really, which was the intention. Okay. And um, afterwards there, there was a label, I, uh, you know, a, a genre which I didn't know, but basically I was making reggae music That's for lovers. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you ever buy music when you was when you was growing up? And if you did, what was your first first single that you ever bought? Yeah, I remember as a teenager, the first song I bought was "Mother and Child Reunion." Okay. By um, somebody said was it Paul Simon? But yeah. Okay. Mother and Child Reunion. Yeah. Nice. That was my first song. Okay. So what? what so back then, what, what what school did you did you go to? And um, well, I was born in Birmingham. <coughs> okay, which part of Birmingham? Smedic, I grew up in Smedic. I know Smedic, where? Well. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so from there, um, I can remember Upland School, okay. I went. Okay. And the secondary school I went to was Smedic Hall. Okay. Then I moved to Wolverhampton. Oh, Can't right. remember the name of that school because it was quite short lived. Then I came to London and I went to South Norwood High. I know South Norwood. So this is when I came to live in London now. Okay. Okay, what age was that when you came to live in London? Uh, I was around 14. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what's, what's your fondest, you have any fond memories around school times there? You um, to share with us? <laughs> fond memories. I'm sure there are, but the, my, you know, my memories, I mean, I've met some great friends who are, we're still friends now. That's great. They tell me so I used to sing around school, I can't remember, uh -huh. but hey, if they tell me that, I've got to believe them, <laughs> So, you know, we kind of share each other's memories, because what they don't remember, I remember, and what okay. I, you know, vice versa. Okay. So, um, yeah, but, yeah, I think school for me, especially my secondary school years, were really nice. Okay. Yeah. Now, did you ever ever have any involvement in sound system at all? The only involvement I remember having was, I think we may have gone to a Saxon sound because there was a brother called Lloyd and if you ever come up with his second name, please let me know in the inbox of Don Sinclair's <laughs> um, YouTube. Yeah. But there was a brother called Lloyd who actually got to got the Sidonians together. Wow. So I'd met a sister called Janet yeah. um, at school, Janet Edwards, mm -hmm. and um, she actually got me into singing. I think we were singing in the common room, and she was like, well, you can sing, I'll sing with a band, come and, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I said, oh, all right then. So from there, I met Fish, who, who his name is Noel Sammer, but everybody called him Fish, a great right. keyboard player. Okay. And with that now, that's how I kind of got into the, the music. So, I forgot what the question was. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about sound system. Sound system, and, right. Yes, yes. So they, Janet now is more a sound girl. Okay. So she took me to Saxon, Saxon. to a Saxon yeah. dance. Okay. dance. I never went on the mic or anything like that. I was okay. too shy. But um, there was a brother named Lloyd who actually got the Sidonians together. Yeah. And I think he used to hang around. It's not Musclehead. It's, it's another one because I met Musclehead and asked if it was him and he said no. Oh, okay. So there's got to have been another yeah. Lloyd, yeah, right, you know, yeah. if he's around today, link me up, man. 
You know what I mean? Because you brought the Sidonians together. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? So yeah, Beautiful. that is that is my introduction to Soul System. Okay. You ever done any dub plates or anything like this? Um, I've met, I've done a couple, but I'm I'm just not a dub plate kind of person. <laughs> well, you're, you're shy. Yes, I am. <laughs> In a nutshell. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure you'd be perfect at it. Yeah. I'm sure, but you know, sometimes we all need a little push. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And um. What artists would you like to work with, and why? And why? Mm. Um, I've not really thought about this, you know. Okay. But, but I love artists like Prince Malachi. Yes. I like the kind of songs that he does. Yes, you know yes, what I mean? Yeah, you can definitely. feel when he sings certain yeah. songs. These oh. are just going off the top of my head. So okay. if any musician listening, you know, no disrespect. This yeah. is just coming off the top of my head because this brother here is firing questions at me, okay? <laughs> so yeah, Prince Malachi, because I, I listened to his album, I bought his album, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm like, yeah. Um, there are some, I mean, a young man here today. Um, is it Casey, one of them sound man there, okay. the lyrics man? Okay. You know, I'd love to work with somebody like him. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Because I, I, I like the young people anyway, yeah. do you know what I mean? And, and um, yeah, I think we could like bounce off each other. Yeah, that's wonderful. Mm. That's wonderful. Perfect, perfect. So, where, where's the last place that you um, played at? The last performance was not so long ago, actually. It was um, mm -hmm. Cecil Rubin's Earth. Strong. Okay. So it was at the Hootenanny. Yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. that was really nice. Great vibes. Yeah. Played with a live band, which I love. Uh, you know, so and the band were tight. Yeah. So it was, yeah, it was really, really not great. like a good live oh, band. I'm telling for you, real, yeah, yeah. For real, for real. Okay, so that sounds like you you talking about Hootenanny. That was a good time for you. But what is one of your best moments that you can recall as an mm. artist? Yes, sir. There's a couple of good moments. Mm -hmm. uh, one was um, working at the Catford Broadway. Mm -hmm. Now this is my first big stage show actually, bearing in mind I started in 1978 and this must wow. have been like 2000 and something. Okay. Yeah, I came out of music for a little while, yeah. brought up my family, did my work, whatever I had right. to do. And then people were, seemed to be asking for me. And luckily my younger sister, was a raver. So she knew all the little sounds I'm in South London and heard somebody asking for the Sidonian. She's like, oh, my sister's and I can get in touch. <laughs> so that's how Lloyd, Sir Lloyd got hold of me. Okay. And I heard that when they started playing the song, it was eruption in the place. I was like, and that's a one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it was, um, it really like blew me away. It totally okay. blew me away. Okay. And another one was um, working, I did a mini tour, a Lovers Rock tour with, um, Mikey Coos wow. and um, uh, Toyin, mm. and we went around the place. And the reception towards me is like, boy, I wish I was out there a long time. You know what I mean? I didn't know this was what was carried on with the song. I had absolutely no idea the reception that I got. You know, but I think because I was always such a shy and introverted person. Okay. People never saw me, you know yeah, what I mean? I went yeah. to the studio, went home, and that was it. Okay. And now people are seeing me, yeah. you know. So slowly my confidence was coming back. I kind okay. of went to, co what happened was I went to college and we had to do these presentations. Yeah. So after that, I'm like, you know what, let me go and try this singing thing live now. Okay. And that's that's kind of how I got a little bit more see, boosted. See. Yeah. yeah. But those couple of moments were for me like, <gasps> You know, take your breath away. Yeah, moments. totally, yeah, totally. Yeah. People yeah, yeah. were absolutely crazy about the song. Perfect, perfect. So, you, have you ever dabbled in any other type of genres of music? Um, not recording wise. Okay. Um, no, not recording wise. All right. So, wh whatever music do you listen to? What name? What other genres of music do you listen to outside of regular music? I must say. Uh, well, I like R and B. I love Mary J. Blige. Uh, I love. Um, Corin Bailey Ray, uh, um, and there's some others that I listen to. Um, I can't even remember the names, but like the my, my children will buy me an album because they hear me listening <laughs> to somebody for for, for a long time. They're like, really, Mum? And I, oh, uh, Nora Jones, you know, uh, they, they yeah, buy yeah, her from because yeah, I, yeah. I like the way they sing. Yeah, do you know what I mean? And yeah, yeah so it's um, I do listen to a few others depending on my mood. Uh, when I was younger, I'd let the children listen to classical. That used to keep them quiet. <laughs> Like, what's mum listen to? Yeah, that's just to keep you not quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 
Outside of music, you, you, you done it for work? Um, yes. Um, I'm, I'm currently working with Reggae Fraternity UK. Okay. Um, we're at Reggae Hub. Okay, tell, so, me more, uh, tell me more, tell me more. Tell you more, um, well, basically what, what we do, we just got together because we wanted to um, get reggae together really, whether producers, mm. singers, um, the musicians, Perfect. because a lot of us were getting, you know, getting ripped off and still are. So we wanted a central base, and we've got a list of list of radio stations, producers, wow. um, singers, and such like, so they can all get together and you know, and just work together really, <coughs> and and try and get the thing right. We okay. you know work with musicians union, PRS, so yeah, we yeah. can okay. tell people where they can go to keep their music safe, etc. And we also have networking parties. You yeah. know, at the end of the year, we have a networking okay. a networking party. We've also put on a great show at the Grand f for Legacy. So wow. we had like children of legends. Yeah. You know, Marla Brown. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, what's the little girl's name again? Oh, no, just so many. We had children of Delroy Wilson. Wow. Um, Alton Ellis. Um, children of. Oh, the names are slipping me, but. I'll Gregory. find the flower and give it to you. No, I didn't know Gregory's, Gregory's one there, okay. but um, yeah, and it was absolutely fabulous. Okay. Absolutely fabulous. It went down really yeah. well. Yeah. That sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah. Good Other than that, I'm a receptionist. Okay. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Something, An admin worker. Yeah, that's good. That's so, good. yeah. Perfect. I dabble. That's good. We all got to work. We all that's gotta it. Work. That's gotta it. Put in that work. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you could go kind of like if you could go back in time, let's jump in on a time machine. Mm -hmm. If you could go back in time, what would you do differently? What? If if there's anything you would like to do differently, sometimes it's not what you do differently. Mm -hmm. It is the journey, right? Yeah. I, I didn't know where my journey was gonna lead lead me to. Yeah. I had plans, but sometimes along with the plans come little blockages. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. there is nothing I would do differently. But I would take up more opportunities than okay. I did do. Okay. So hopefully, you know, just say um, if I'm if well, do you know what it is? What it is? <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. My journey is my journey. Yeah. So I can't change it because maybe if I change it there, I wouldn't end up here. Ah, yeah, yeah. So oh, yeah, the journey yeah, yeah. is the journey. Ah, yeah, yeah. So if in the music industry right now. And I, I know you, you're working with, would, it, would you say you're the Reggae Fraternity Reggae UK? Reggae Fraternity, Fraternity UK, okay. If you had the power to make any changes in the industry, what would they be? To make people more honest. Um, a good one. Yeah, to make them more honest. Yeah. Because I would like for those that had ripped us off to actually come and apologise. If I you mean, didn't know how the business went then, you most probably weren't now. Yeah. You know now. Come and apologise and say, listen, we didn't mean to. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, makes and, sense. Yeah, just have that, be more honest. So that then we'd have known to sign on to PRS, yeah. join Musicians Union. Mm -hmm. But we did it, we trusted them. So, okay. honesty. Definitely, you hear that? Transparency. You hear that? <laughs> Send an apology. Fast. Yeah? Mm. Okay, so, as one of the lovers got greats, Okay, mm -hmm. what song are you most proud of from your catalogue? Because I know so you make some great songs, but which song are you most proud of? I am proud of Goodbye My Love because it's brought me the recognition uh -huh. um, and, and people loved it. It, it, was, it was not my composition, it was written by Noel Salmon, but um, it, it's kind of made me known yeah. now. Uh -huh. You know, and um, I'm, I'm quite proud of that. I feel like I've made a little mark. You should be even in, grow in, up in, on, in the, on the earth. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah. You know, must pick the bar to that children. So people. I hear you, and, and I notice, you know, the, the, I, the generation is big. I'm telling you, listen, I personally used to play that Sunday yeah. before I went to school in the mornings, you know, as I used still. <laughs> so, uh, do me a thing. You do me one thing, please. <laughs> Sing, give a, give a little piece yeah, of the song for piece. the people. <laughs> right, the song. Take it from me You're not the man you used to be I must confess 
you made me so proud just to know you didn't play around with me and someone else. But from the truth I know I cannot hide. You're gonna live your life, so I live mine. Doom, 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 doom. We're not gonna make it. It's useless, can't you see? We thought because of our child that together we should be. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye, goodbye, my love. I'm on my way. Jeez, fire! <laughs> You know how many children were born to that song, people. It's, uh, it's beautiful. Song. beautiful 40 song. years ago. I can't wow. believe it. 40 years. 40 years mm. ago that song was made. And it's fresh like it was today. It's been beautiful song. Thank you. Oh, man. Um, so, if that music, that, 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 Singing that song's got me a little bit lost, people. I mean, I've honest with people. But the nostalgia man has come back to I'm your telling you, I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> anyway, let me, I'm going to touch on the last one now, mm -hmm. okay? Other than the people that you're with now, right? If you could get any musician, dead or alive, and put them in a band, who would be in your band? Wow. Um, I love listening to the the sisters band because they're all women okay. i'd love to work with that band i worked with them many years ago when flip fraser was alive and oh. he used to do a reggae thing um in east london there hackney or clapton around that place there okay. so the sisters band I, you know i'd love to play with them and um the rassites oh, i would love them from they were yeah, young yeah. and band, i look and i'm like band. i would love to do a show with the rassites band okay. you know there are a few bands because i love working with the artist band but that the, they they usually like um from different bands. So I'm always meeting up these musicians, but Rassites okay. and the Sisters. I don't okay. know if they call themselves Sisters now, but back in the day, the Sisters Got band. Sisters. I think you got a bit of Abba Kush and oh, bits of that from 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 back in the day. Yeah, mind. that would be nice. That's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. So people, there you have it. There you have it. The goodness. <laughs> right? We learn fast, right? You learn fast. <laughs> it's a personal thing. You can watch that. Anyway, there you have it, YouTubers. Listen, Audrey, thank you for coming in and blessing your story. Oh, thank you yeah, for having me. Thank 100%. you. You made me feel comfortable, so thank you very no, no much. Problem, no thank problem. you, YouTubers. It's a nice brother, nice brother. All right. Thank you, Sean. So there you have it, YouTubers. Audrey Scott, one of Lover's Rock's greatest. Go on YouTube and check out the songs then fast. So from Don Sinclair, Reggae Vibes, Quickfire Interview, we're going to be out of here right now. Boom.